Welcome. My name is Abby Marsh, and I'm the Executive Director of the Life Crisis Center. We'd like to introduce you to our Why campaign. This campaign is a campaign to focus on domestic violence and shifting the focus from the victim to the abuser. Frequently, we see in language a tendency to focus on the victim and ask, why does she stay? Instead of focusing on the abuser and asking, why does he abuse? This series of videos by our Life Crisis Center staff will attempt to address some of the many reasons why a victim may stay. Domestic violence is a pattern of coercive controlling behavior that can include physical assault, psychological or emotional abuse, sexual abuse, or financial abuse. There are many reasons why a victim may not leave. This is why we challenge you to shift the focus, have a better understanding of why a victim may stay, and stop asking that question and ask, why does the abuser abuse? Many times I have been asked the same question, why don't they just leave? There are many reasons why a person will not leave an abusive relationship. And there are many more reasons why an immigrant victim will stay. They stay because they are being controlled by their abusers. They're, they're being abused in different ways. It could be psychological, it could be physical, it could be emotional, all those types of abuse plus others. Victim, victims will face barriers that abusers will put for them. One of those barriers is the language barrier. When victims do not speak English, they depend on their abusers for everything, even to be able to communicate with others. In most cases, they're isolated. They're not allowed to talk to family or friends. And the ones that are allowed um, to talk to their family or friends, they cannot mention the abuse. Some of them might be allowed to talk to some people, but those people are, that people are the ones that the abuser allows them to talk to. In most cases, immigrant victims are not allowed to learn English. Another barrier is their immigration status. Many times an abuser will use the victim's immigration status to threaten them with calling immigration. Victims are in constant fear of being deported. In the cases where there are children involved, they are in fear of not being able to see their children ever again. I had a client that she was told many times, if you call the police, they will not take me. They're going to take you instead. She never called the police because she was afraid. She was also told that when the police got there, they were going to be separated. She was going to be separated from her, from her children and it will never be able to see them again. She was terrified just from the idea that her abuser was going to stay with her kids. Something else abusers will do or use on their favor is that the victim is not from this country. So the victim doesn't know the law or their rights. I had another client that came to the country legally. She thought she had married the love of her life. Shortly after they got married, he became abusive. Then he started threatening her with calling immigration and telling her if she will be deported if she, not, if she didn't want to be with him anymore. Even though she was legal in the country, he used her lack of legal knowledge to his advantage for a long time. Victims are controlled in many ways. Isolation is one of them. And when they are isolated, they don't know what resources are available for them. Here at the life crisis, we can help. We can help in many ways. Some of the ways we can help are by creating a safety plan, providing counseling, talking to you, or offering community services. I think instead of asking why do they just leave, we should be asking why do abusers abuse? Thank you for taking the time to educate yourself about domestic violence through Life Crisis Center's series of videos in the Why campaign. We hope that you will take this information back into the community and you will help shift the focus back to where it belongs, on the abuser. If you're a victim of domestic violence, or even if you have questions about whether you're a victim of domestic violence, you can contact Life Crisis Center at 410-749-HELP. That's 410-749-4357.